Right. We're here to discuss something important. You all know why you're here. I'm assigning you to a top secret mission. Now, they've infiltrated our fisheries. There's too many of them on the pie. We need to put them in the pie and, and just eat them up. Right? Right. Janet, you're going to take the A-team right around the back. Yeah. You're going to wait for my signal. Now, Paulette. Yes. Did you have a shave? Oh. Right, anyway, no time to discuss. Right, so you will take the C team and you'll flank the A team. And then, right after that, you wait for my signal. Oi! Yes, sir! Yeah. Yes, sir. This is the Otago. Tango, Tango, Tango. Alright, Fano, welcome to Tahu Taxi. Oh, you guys need it. your own TV show. <laughs> so Yo, if you could have a TV show, what would it be about? Cartoon Hunters. Cartoon Hunters. Cartoon Hunters. Cartoon Hunters. Cartoon Hunters. Cartoon Hunters. Cartoon how does it feel like to have Paulette as a mama? Why? Oh, can I just say something? <laughs> um, Is she hard on you guys? Whew, at times. <laughs> yeah. But it's all for the best here. <laughs> no, I guess she keeps us busy. All the kaupapa that she goes to mm. uh, every week. Paulette is one busy lady with more than 15 years' experience leading Te Reo Māori revitalisation strategy for Te Runanga o Ngai Tahu, Kotahi Mano Kaika. She also represents Ngai Tahu on the New Zealand Geographic Board and is the South Island representative on Te Mātāwai, the national board fulfilling the government's strategy for the revitalisation of Te Reo Māori. What don't you do? Is, is there anything that housework? <laughs> <laughs> you've you've but, got so many hats on, especially for our Māori community. Yeah, um, I think that's probably what I don't do well is a good life balance. Mm. <laughs> and so, I think my father would tell you that um, I do work long hours. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. um, and yeah, it's it's not all smooth sailing. You know, it comes with a um, bit of fatigue <laughs> at times. When did you want to start integrating Te Reo Māori within your whānau to bring that back? Oh, well, you don't know taku ngākau iau e, e tamariki ana. I te wā i haramai aku ōku tipuna no taranaki, miki, uh, ki to kumarai, ki o tākau, um, i au a wā. I rongo ai uh, te reo e reana, kei wāngi i ngā kaumātua. Uh, I maumaharau i au e tamariki ana noho ana a te whakarongo ana ki a rātou. Um, I te wā i katakata ai rātou, ka tino o pirangi au te mōhi o heate mea e whakakata ana i a rātou na era. Uh, ko te tangi o te ngākau mai i taku uh, tamariki tanga miki. Um, yeah, so that for me, and and watching, I guess, seeing my elders and my mum and, and my, I always talk about my Uncle Don, um, who, who didn't have the language. And, you know, I could, I, I 
voice that I could send to their mum mm. before they lost. So, um, and and even you know within ourselves as young people wanting to learn our language, but we didn't really have those um, puna or role models in our community to just sit with them and learn with. So. Um, it's been a journey. <laughs> yeah, still a journey. Still, still, mum. I, <laughs> you know, no pain, no gain. Um, and I and I talk about that a, a bit with with whānau that I work with. You know that um, we've had to be those, um, I guess, those champions for our whānau in this generation uh, to make it easier for the next generation. Yes. And I know that that my mum and, and my elders have made sacrifices in their lives so that we could have what we have today. Mm. And I guess that's my contribution for my mokopuna is uh, putting myself through this pain <laughs> of, you know, putting yourself out of your depth and um, out of your comfort zone. Um, mm. Quite often feeling inadequate because you feel like, you, you know, you don't have the language that you need um, all the time. And um, but but always doing our best, and and you know reminding our kids too that um, that our komatua that don't have to do, they also gave their best. Yes. Um, and and they sacrificed in other ways so that we could have opportunities that we have today. I've had those opportunities uh, to, to 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 develop my um, proficiency, and still it's an ongoing challenge. Um, and if you know if we hadn't had those opportunities, then my tamariki wouldn't have had the exposure that I've had. Pai ake te reo aku tamariki i i tōku reo. Te reo tūtahi. Te reo tūtahi. Ko te tūmana ko i e Ngāwari ake ki a ratau, ki te kōro Māori. Ai. Ka whakāro Māori, ka rere te reo. Ai. Kia Ngāwari tō rātou ao. Kia Māori tō rātou ao. Kia ora. Kia whakahokia mai te reo. Some of the life, the, the choices you made when you were younger, has it contributed to you being all of them? You... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, which ones? <laughs> professional and your professional. Oh. We'll put the professional hat on. I guess I think, you know, um, I didn't stray too far, but I had a a few colourful experiences and <laughs> and and they I think they've motivated me mm. um, to be better and to do better so you know all life experiences contribute to where you are today and then understanding our history I guess and, and societal views uh, towards Māori women um, and that really um, inspired me uh, to want more and, and do better um, not just for my whānau but in our community mm. so you know I love um, love working um, with other <coughs> other passionate Māori you know because you do you draw a lot of energy and and I and I see um, I see some inspirational leaders coming through our Rakata because they've you know we've provided a, a, a seeding bed I guess you know where they can grow and flourish and and hopefully we can Support them to make um, good decisions in life, but you know, <laughs> um, and we we're always going to be there. But um, you know, we I love the work that um, that I do alongside others and in, in, in our hapuri and utukoti. Yes, working to, with with Hewaku Kotu and, and wanting to have again, you know, it's not just about bringing back our real; it's about bringing back our, our narratives, um, our stories of our ancestors, um, of our whenua and, um, and of our people and our <coughs> values, so um, so we have to write those, so that's the necessity, having to, uh, wanting to share our stories, uh, composing new waiata. <laughs> a little bit more because these rakatai have these pūkinga that are just amazing that blow us out of the water so we just leave them to it like mm -hmm. just encourage and nurture that and um, and I 
and our job was done. Te mahi tamane ki te kōpai, ka tai anō ka puta mai. And it's a bit of a whānau affair, isn't it? I, I think your whānau all up in there, and plus all the rangatahi from here, waka kotuia. What, what was the, how te whakāro taua kōpai? Tēnā, um, well, you know, i rungi tērā, ka moi o ngā, ngā pūkenga o ngā, ngā rakatahi um, ki te waiata. I just wanted to create an opportunity to work with some leading Māori professional musicians who are carving up in the industry, if you like, and, um, and just to yeah, give them a taste of that and, and maybe inspire those who, who might want to think about uh, taking their music um, to another level. Yeah, so that's really what it was about, and also to promote our deal. So, mm. um, you know, we um, ensured that all the compositions were, if they weren't in Te Reo Māori, they were bilingual, um, and it was promoting our dialect as well. So, you know, the only place in the world where where we can be kaitahu, kōrui to tātou reo ake, um, no, you know, me, me tuku mm. uh, ao. We wanted to do it on our marae too. And so Te Mahi Tamariki uh, acknowledges the original Farinui. Yes. Yeah, so that, yes. Um, and that was named by our old people who, in recognition that it was going to take another generation to fight for justice um, and seek um, uh, settlement of our claim. And you know, it took more than just a gener- another generation; it took quite a few more. But um, and when when we were thinking about a name for our album, and the kids sort of thought, "Oh, mahi tamariki," you know, that's sort of like the work of the children. Mm. It's very childish. And once we talked to them about the thinking behind that name and and the realization that they are the first generation born post settlement. They are born into this era where there's less grievance. Hemel, Tokona, Emanga.